Hi, Carrie Simpson, the Wellnet here, crazy about all things wellness and nutrition. And I'm here to talk to you about a very unusual subject today, coffee enemas. First of all, I want to talk about why in the world we do coffee enemas. It's really important for immune boosting. It's one of the best things you can do to raise your immune response um, and to help with detoxification when you're going through your healing programs or just trying to detoxify your body. So anybody can benefit from coffee enemas. Why coffee in the enema? That's the other question. Most people assume it's because of the uh, stimulatory effects of the caffeine in the coffee which could not be further from the truth. We endure the caffeine in order to get the palmitic acid that is in the coffee bean. Palmitic acid is a key component for building glutathione as transferase which is used by the liver to help filter your blood. So you can see why it raises your immune response and your detoxification ability. All of this palmitic acid is getting in there, getting where the action is, getting to the liver really quickly through a very absorptive part of your body, the lower bowel, and helping your liver do its job more thoroughly. Some say that it's like three times to seven, I mean, I've heard as many people will say it's 700 times better. I don't know how much better, I just know it's better. So increase your immune response, increase your ability to detoxify, support your liver and your gallbladder by doing coffee enemas. Now, how do we begin? This is what we need right here. You need 32 ounces of purified water. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, what kind of water do I need to use? Reverse osmosis, what distilled, doesn't matter. If you can drink it, you can put it there. So it doesn't matter as long as it's purified, I'm happy. You need a good Premier Pink Salt. This is my favorite brand right here. You need pink salt that's full of nice mineral support, not one that's adulterated and weak. So you want a strong energetic one. This is the one to go with to be sure. And then we have Billy Vin. This is a, an herbal blend that I like to use to support the liver and gallbladder. Help has milk thistle, which helps dilate the bile duct, a lot of other supportive things that are gonna help us get a really good flush. And then we have Peristat and Peritocin. These are both anti-parasitic blends. When you're doing an enema, it's a great time to help uh, clear out any parasites that might have colonized in your colon or, um, or upper GI tract. And it's also just a preventive to get those in there as well. And then we have gallbladder and D. I like to take a shot of this before the coffee enema just to get that milk thistle and all these other herbs that support the liver and open up that bile duct into your system really quick and get things flowing faster. So we take a shot of that before we do the enema. All of these things are used in the enema. And then you need a good organic, very lightly roasted coffee bean. Because we're looking for that palmitic acid, in the coffee. We don't want a really highly roasted one because we cook the good stuff out. We want really active, still live source enzymes and palmitic acid in the coffee beans. So you want a really lightly brewed organic version and I use Premier's brand here. It's my favorite. So uh, that is very important. And then you need an enema bucket. You can get a stainless steel one, you can get a plastic one like I recommend here. As long as it can hold up to 32 ounces, you're good to go there. So now you have everything you need to brew your enema. Let's do it. Here we go. This is how to brew it.
so that's it that's how to brew it be sure and check out the other video how to do it to learn more about what to do from here hello this video is to show you how to do your coffee enema Hang your enema bucket by the handle on the shower head. It's very important to have the bucket elevated to assist with the flow. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the anal area or insertion end of the hose or both. Position your body comfortably in any position where your hips are higher than your shoulders. It is best to do this in the tub if possible. You can do downward dog yoga pose lying on the back with hips propped on a covered towel or a pillow, tabletop yoga pose, or any other pose that is comfortable for you with your hips higher than your shoulders. With one hand, insert the nozzle end of the hose gently into the rectum approximately one to three inches. Never shove or force the insertion. Gentle and slow is important to avoid injury. If there's difficulty, try taking a deep breath and relaxing and then continue. Release the upper clamp and then slowly release the second pinch clamp to allow the flow to begin. Allow half of the liquid to flow into the colon and then pinch the clamp closed. Slide the secondary clamp to the closed position and remove the hose slowly and gently. Get comfortable. Lie down on your back with your hips propped up on a bolster or rolled towels. The higher, the better. Practice intentional breathing and relax as much as possible while you attempt to hold the liquid for 10 minutes. This may be difficult the first few times, but it will become easier. Repeat these steps with the last half of the coffee. During your first few enemas, you may experience some nausea during or after the process. This is often due to the release of internal stagnant and putrefied toxins. Do not let this deter you from continuing with your series of coffee enemas.